Hi folks, welcome to another Data Center Pulse episode focused on the chill off. Today we're here to talk about the Canera Cool Loop solution, which is our second solution in the test. Uh, previously we gave you an overview of the Canera Cool Therm, which was the first solution from Canera and the first in our test. So I've got Jeremiah Chi with me here from Canera. He's going to give us an overview, uh, talk about some of the compelling features, and then also how this product differentiates from the first one that we tested. So welcome, Jeremiah. Thanks, Brian. Great. Yeah. So like you said, the first test was done with the Canera Cool Therm, and that is the flagship product from Canera. Here we now have the Cool Loop solution, which is a similar chilled water solution. Um, developed with a slight twist. The cool therm was built for data centers that did not have height limitations and the cool loop is developed for uh, data centers which do have height limitations and so these are side mounted cooling solutions and they were launched in January of 2008. Okay. Now in terms of efficiencies you really get some great efficiencies with a solution like this because it's closed, right? That's, that, right. that's the primary benefit. Right. So the cool loop, just to, just to deviate a little bit from, from that. We offer the cool loop in two solutions. One is the open architecture, and what we see behind is the closed architecture. Just very briefly, the open architecture is where the chilled air is exhausted into the data center environment. Here behind us is where the whole solution is enclosed in a sealed uh, enclosure like this. So the air is recirculated, and in so doing, the back of the rack, where the elevated temperatures are, we can get it to a higher temperature, which thereby increases the cooling efficiencies. Right, right. And then part of it too is that you're uh, closely coupling the cooling source with the heat loads here in the form of this sidecar unit, really. So in terms of efficiencies there as well, you're not requiring a lot of fan horsepower to move the air long distances. That's right. Okay. Um, and then it also helps with noise too. I mean, when you, when you have one of these up an operational in a data center environment, you have both doors closed. Right. I mean, it's it's extremely quiet compared to a typical, right? That's true. Okay. Um, now, you also mentioned the difference between the cool loop and the cool therm in terms of primarily just space utilization. Yes. Now, that's a really handy thing. I know from the data center design standpoint, the fact that, like you said, we've got the ultimate flexibility. If physical floor space is our premium or if the vertical space is our premium, Either way, it allows us to utilize both, uh, basically leverage them to the fullest extent possible, right? Exactly. So we have solutions for either data center, right. either height limit, limited or floor space limited. Right. And um, for, for the cool loop, we are, again, site mounting the, the solutions as compared to the cool therm where the, solution, the cooling solutions are mounted below the racks. Right. Now, the additional benefit, correct me if I'm wrong, of mounting the cooling on the side like this is you get a ton of flexibility in terms of the types of densities that you can accommodate within a rack, right? So you could couple these with uh, two per rack or one cooling unit for two racks, et cetera, yes. et cetera, right? So each cool loop cooling capacity ranges from 10 kilowatts to 30 kilowatts, okay. um, always re with redundant fans in each system. You could mount two cool loops to one rack or vice versa, one cool loop per two racks, depending on the cooling loads uh, that you're required in the data center. Okay, and, and ideally, I mean, you, you wouldn't just put one of these into a data center, you have a string of them. Yes. So it sounds like you've got the ultimate flexibility of going from relatively, let's say, medium high density all the way up to some extreme densities yes. within a string of these yes. and have each one accommodated but not overcooled. Absolutely, okay. that's the idea. Yeah, great. Okay, anything else that uh, we've gotten about? Oh, uh, metering, monitoring. So how does something like this tie into a building management system? As with all the other Canera solution uh, uh, products, we have uh, software for monitoring, humidity, temperature, uh, uh, all the instrumentation you can probably think of. It's available as a separate package, Okay, but okay. it is available. Great, so it'll tie in. Absolutely. Okay, great. Well, thank you very much for uh, giving us the overview. And folks, stay tuned for another episode coming up real soon where we'll move to our third test in the series. And until then, uh, thank you.